Okay, so I'm just going to show you a quick partnered tutorial um, to help your partner with stiff neck and shoulders. So using your Gua Sha stone, follow me. So um, this is really good to do just um, when you're sat on the sofa, have your partner sit in front of you on the floor. Um, you can do the sofa clothes if you want to as well. And I've just applied a bit of oil to the skin so that we're not going to get drag. So the Gua Sha has got to be able to glide, which it does either well on clothing, just keep the clothing taut with the other hand, or use oil like I am now. So using your Gua Sha stone, um, all you're going to do is a sort of rubbing back and forth motion, so a bit like you're using um, an eraser. So this is so easy to use, um, it's completely foolproof, so you can't really go wrong. Just um, don't go on the spine itself, you want to avoid that. Um, go for the fleshy areas, and the key areas you want to work on is a sort of triangle here on either side. This is a sort of hot spot for all tension, so on this side that would be here. This triangle, so between the shoulder blades and on top. So take your stain and you're just going to start on top and just start lightly so that you can both get used to it. You might need to readjust your grip, you might want to um, use a flannel to hold the gua sha so that you have a bit more grip as well, especially if you have oily hands it can be difficult to hold sometimes. So just back and forth using the edge of the gua sha um, and a normal reaction is for redness to occur so this is actually uh, what you want to occur is to have the redness come through. Um, try to avoid bruising if you can, that is actually something that happens in traditional gua sha um, but as you are not a trained professional I try to avoid going that hard but as you can see this redness is coming up that's good because it's attracting blood to the area which is going to flush out all these areas of tension and adhesions or what you'd refer to as knots. So um, right on top of the shoulder this can be really nice I'm just going to support my head a little bit again going for, for the fleshy bits It might feel a bit odd using a tool at first, but um, you will get used to it. And I'm just going to work up the side of the neck, avoiding the spine, up to that ridge where the skull meets the neck. That's called the occipital ridge. And rubbing down the neck, down the top of the shoulder, down between the shoulder blade and the spine and you'll feel all of the knots coming through here. You won't believe what you'll find. <laughs> but this is perfect for helping to relieve it. So you can build up to a pressure that you're comfortable with. Um, and yeah, this is great. This is just going to help relieve tension, get um, ox oxygen rich blood and nutrients to the area, um, helping it to become more vital and healthier um, and let go of some of that tension that's holding on to. So this is great, do it um, daily if you like. In fact, daily would be great because that's gonna help um, keep some of those tensions at bay. Um, if you have any questions, pop them in the box below. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoy.